Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did a grocery haul at Walmart and I did a small, small one at Aldi's and a little run in to Krispy Kreme. Let me show you everything we ended up getting. I'll start over here today. I did these Red Baron fully loaded pizzas, um, one pe pepperoni, one supreme. My son likes that. Got some onion powder because my cabinet is running low on that and I've been stocking up on garlic and never getting the onion so I got that some of this Sasson tropical my husband wanted to try this he saw this when I was in the grocery store and my best friend mentioned this as well to me so giving it a try it only has seven milligrams which is pretty decent so we'll give that a try um, Cheetos uh, my son was with me so he wanted to try these little minis and then I got these Pring Pringles they're cheesecake excuse me um, not cheesecake <laughs> Philly cheese steaks um that would be an interesting flavor of pringles huh uh so we got philly cheese steaks for my husband to try and then my salsa since i was all out of my salsa verde is medium uh half a gallon of milk because i'm making some recipes this weekend biscuits we're going to give this recipe i saw on amy marion's channel she did a sausage um biscuit and gravy basically she stuffs the egg sausage and gravy mixture in the middle closes it up bakes them in the oven and you have these beautiful um i think she called them stuffed oh i can't remember what she called them but you definitely have to try them i'm going to give them a run down this weekend to see if we like them but they look delicious go i'm going to link her page and her video so you guys can go and see the recipe because i really think it's worth trying it looked delicious um i have half and half fat free i wanted to try to start cutting back somewhere on the uh, fat and, and the calories. So I bought that this time to give it a try in my coffee to see if I like. Um, again, from this <laughs> from this video, you're not gonna see that we're cutting back, but you gotta start somewhere, right? Then I bought these Chipotle lime trail mix. I love trail mix. Um, and a lot of times they have way too much salt in them. I mean, this one has 160 milligrams per serving, but it's not terrible because I had to stop buying the one from Aldi's because some of them were a little too higher in um, in sodium. So we'll see if we can try this. I really hope we like it. Condensed milk for a um, recipe we're gonna give a try to this coming week or two. Some Ugly's barbecue chips. Um, my husband says it's about reducing waste. I'm not quite sure what that means. I think they just take all the ugly chips and sell them anyway. I'm not really sure. I'll have to look up the reasoning for their name, but really cute name and he wanted to give it a try since he liked barbecue flavored chips. Um, got some Butterfingers. My son wanted to try them because he's, you know, little by little trying different types of candies to see if he likes things. Um, he's never been one for chocolate, so he does like things like peanut butter and stuff. So in his chocolate, so he wanted to try this. So we got a little package of that for him to try. Some Sour Patch Kids, the big kids. My husband says I always buy my mini ones and he loves the big ones to try once in a while. So we got this for random movie nights. If we have a movie night, we'll pull some out, put in a little container and have it like we're at the movie theaters. Got some Pop-Ums for my son. Pumpkin, he loves his pumpkin pops. So we got them for him to have this week. This is new Thin, I think they're called Thinful. And... Um, they're really delicious sounding, all of the ingredients in there. So we wanted to give it a try. And it seems pretty reasonable as far as the calories and stuff. So a nice little snack to have once in a while. Eggs, because we're always running low on eggs because we eat them and we put them in everything. I bought myself a small zucchini because I have um, a recipe I need to put just a small amount in. So I got a very small one because these are ridiculously tiny at Walmart. Aldi's definitely, you get your money's worth for this zucchini, but it's okay. We'll give it a try. And then this was adorable because I am the only one really that eats eggplant. This was so tiny. It's almost the size of my hand. Well, it is the size of my hand. So I'm excited to give that a try. I've been craving some um, eggplant parmesan. So I'll do maybe eggplant rolls rather than um, than a whole lasagna. So we'll see. Maybe I'll post that if it comes out good. Got some brown sugar because we have none and I wanted to do some baking. We'll start some baking. Bread flour because we want to make our own pizza. We saw a great recipe from I think the American Test Kitchen. Um, we'll give it a try and if we like it we'll link the YouTube video that I saw it on because we're big on pizza and they use the bread flour. So I wanted to give that a try. I finally found the Texas toast. We like to make um, French toast and the cinnamon brioche that I typically use, 
is delicious, but it's like almost $6 for that. Whereas this was only $1.98 for a whole loaf of bread. And it's the nice size for um, French toast. So we'll give that a try. Some white bread because we're having, like I said, some kids over on the weekend. And I'm going to make some sandwiches for them. And maybe even that pizza. We'll see if they decide to do movie night here. And then we got Minute Maid Zero for my husband and me. We like that flavor. Some vitamin water shines. A couple of them to get us through because we have little bit of juice left here. My husband liked the kiwi snapple that I bought from the dollar store the other day. We picked up the fruit punch this time. This is zero um, snapple fruit punch. So we're going to give that a try. I will say this is $1.18 at Walmart versus $1.25 at the dollar store. So if you're near one, pick them up there. Um, then we got some butter lettuce. This is really delicious. Lasted so much longer in our refrigerator. And I really think because it's that root that's on the bottom, it did not wilt. We had it for almost over two weeks. It was absolutely delicious. So definitely, if you haven't tried this already, I would say this is a cross between a romaine lettuce and an iceberg lettuce. It's delicious. You got to give it a try. Then I have this here. Um, I've been buying the imitation because my, uh, unfortunately, my, um, what is that called? My vanilla extract is not ready yet and this was only a dollar something versus me spending almost 20 30 dollars for vanilla like i don't understand but i'm not spending that much for a big bottle and i'm not spending like six seven eight dollars on a small one or two ounces so i'm getting this for temporary use right now that tastes the same i've tried it in coffee i've tried it in my cookies i've tried it in my pancakes honestly other than the fact that it's probably got a couple of things in it we shouldn't be eating it tastes just as delicious. Bought myself one of these yogurts because I plan to make a pudding dish that I have, um, a light dessert for myself with pudding, like zero pudding. So I have that. And also Bucky likes this once in a while. So I bought that for my puppy and me. And then we got him a little toy. I don't know. Daddy, you want me to throw this toy to you once I'm done? Yeah. So I got the um, trusty puppy here. This is a pup. This is actually really great toy so far. He has a peanut butter jelly sandwich that he actually really, really loves. And we're going to try this one out on him now. So let me throw that to my husband so he can play with the, the doggy. Sorry, I just whacked my husband in the face with it. Sorry, babe. Um, then I got some Captain Crunch cereal. My son, we ended up buying the um, one from Walmart. He liked it, but he does not like the berries. And unfortunately, Walmart does not make the Captain Crunch without the berries, at least for the store we go to. So we bought him a regular Captain Crunch um, for him to have since now I got to eat the ones with the berries. I'm not complaining because they taste delicious. He says they're too sweet. Again, my son's not a big sweet tooth kid. Once in a while with his donuts and his you know, cake and stuff like that, but not really with cereals and candy. Then I got this Almond Crunch Honey Oats because we were running low on the cereal we bought last time. So I bought that to put in the cupboard because we're having company. So I wanted to have extra um, cereals and stuff in the house. And then, um, oh, hold on, let's start here. And then we got the brownies. I saw this on a lady I follow on, for a Weight Watcher um, YouTuber that's doing Weight Watchers. She likes this. I'm trying to get back into the swing of eating lighter calorie dishes and foods. Um, slow going, but going to try my best. And I heard these were delicious. And I'm a big sweet tooth person. So if I can go really low calorie and just get that hint of something, you know, sweet and chocolatey, this will probably help me through it. So we'll see. Then I got that sausage because I'm going to make those biscuits I mentioned uh, for my son and us this weekend or during the week. So I wanted to buy some sausage to like fry up and do for that. And then we went to Krispy Kreme. Everybody was craving donuts and we just didn't want the donuts from the regular store. So we bought some of their regular um, glazed, some of their pink glazed. And I think we got a, uh, what is it called? A maple pecan and one regular pumpkin Roller, so we're gonna give them a try and then i bought some more real mayonnaise from aldi's because every time i'm there now i pick one up because i don't know mayonnaise must fly off the shelf there so i picked this up only three dollars and 15 cents definitely a great deal and if you like hellman's you will love this extremely extremely close in taste i mean when i say close i say they're the same thing but my husband swears it's a little different but i believe they taste 
just the same for me. And then I bought this ribeye we had not too long ago. Um, they're thin cut ribeyes. I like thin cut. There's about six of them in here and they're delicious. So we're going to grill this weekend and have some potatoes and then some black Angus um, eye of the round steak. So we're going to give them a try for some pepper steak. And that is pretty much it for our haul. Thanks for following guys. Hit that like, subscribe and notification bell to see all future videos. See you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.